Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. You can see I am in beautiful, sunny Spain. We are on the Iberian Masters. I thought I'd bring the GoPro along. It's day two today. Not done particularly well on day one, but I thought I'd get the GoPro out and we would have just a bit of a live match just to see if we can do a little bit better today. So I've got the GoPro set up. Let's go down the steps. We'll have a look at the peg. It's a beautiful day. You can see, there we go, here we go. This is the river. Forgive me, I don't really know the name of the river, but it's near Valencia, a little town called Fortalene. And this is the peg. So let's have a quick look at the tactics we're going to use because it's ridiculously simple and I'll just talk you through how I'm going to attempt to fish the mat. So we've got our sticky mag here. Now what I like to do with the sticky mag is when I'm preparing it, I want to get it so it's rock solid because I want that to go to the bottom as like a rock solid ball and I want it to stay like a ball in the feeder. So it takes ages to break down. Literally my hook bait is sort of like the standout. There's nothing else for the fish to pick up but my hook bait. And obviously these maggots that go in the feeder are just the attractor. So we've got that. White maggots, couldn't get any simpler than that. Guys from the tackle shop bring us some bait every day. I've got a bit of hemp because if I want to put a bit of bait short, I think hemp's going to be the key for that. Just a nice bed of uh, hemp. And because the maggots from the tackle shop here, are, they're quite small in Spain. I think they'll probably have trouble turning them. We've got this little pot of sort of like special hooker maggots. Now, for anyone that's thinking about getting into the, the gold industry or the drug industry and making their millions doing that, what I would suggest is you get into the, the game of these maggots because £2.50 or €2.50 for a little pot like that. And believe it or not, that's how many maggots you get for two two €2.50. So if you fancy getting into this game, you'll be a millionaire one within a year, no doubt. So they're just slightly bigger. We call them the grubs. And that's what I'm going to put on the hook, a couple of them. So feeders-wise, got a selection of feeders. You'll notice they're all sort of like bottom-weighted. I think ramming the bait in the feeder and just sort of like slowing the release down is important so by closing off the bottom of the feeder a little bit we're stopping the at least one of the entrance points where those maggots can escape so that's the idea behind these different feeders different sizes stopwatch is the important thing because we could be waiting ages for a bite today so let's talk about how we're going to fish the swim i've got over there a bit of area where i think i could get reasonably close to those rocks now those rocks are the, could be the size of boulders they could come out five meters into the river without me knowing but i've got an area there where i could get tight what i don't want to do is go straight into that area though so my starting line is going to be sort of like five meters off the far bank which is clear i've plumbed it up i had to drag around with a bomb it's quite clear there so i know i'm fishing we're only going to be looking for like no more than five bites today two fish was me two fish was mega in this section yesterday so if i get five bites i'll be over the moon now down here is going to be my margin you can see you know all the rocks and everything in the edge but i'm going to have a margin swim i call it a margin swim it's 30 meters out and that's where i'm going to feed a bit of hemp at the start with a big feeder and then we can chuck on top of it with our sticky mag the only thing that will go in my feeder is those white maggots. I'll put double maggot on the hook and it's just a case of altering your casting times and the, the, the area that you're fishing. So let's go through that again. Starting point is over there, five meters off the far, off the far bank in the slightly deeper water. I'm going to feed some bait down here, maybe for halfway through the match. And then if we're really struggling, we'll go straight into the lion's den and try and find a clear area amongst those rocks and see if we can get an odd pull later on. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Look at that, all you people at home. Cloudy old Britain. Look at that, bright blue skies. It's going to be a stunning day. Let's hope we get a few pulls.
I think so. I just pulled back and it was uh, on something. I just pulled back.
Ja, to ja, ja, To jest ja, ja, To jest ja, To ja, To jest Ponta ya, si no nos vamos a hacer un poco. Cuatro. Cuatro mil doscientos veinticinco. Well, a typically tough day on the river. Everyone's packing up now. Match is finished. I've had two carp and a crassio, literally three bites all day, all on that line that was just short of the far bank. Unfortunately, when we did go longer, there's some line hanging along the far bank, so we just couldn't get tight enough. But I've caught fish on that sort of like four fifths of the way across line. We've had those three fish, four kilos, 200 grams, I think I've weighed. And that will be, I think something like six, four, seventh in this section. Sections are 23. So there's 23 anglers. Last peg is down there at the bridge. I'm expecting they've caught a few. I know that further down the bank, turn you around, further down the bank down there, Marvin, who's done brilliantly yesterday, he's had nine kilos today. So that'll be tough to beat, I think. He might have won the section again today. So he's obviously got something sorted, but the middle of these sections are just so tough. Ideally, you want to be towards the end and we're bang in the middle. I think what's happening is, is that with the river being quite narrow and the pegging is the pegging's quite tight, if I'm honest. There's 115 anglers here this weekend, so a lot of pressure on the bank. Pegging's quite tight, and I think the fish are just running off the match length and sitting in the gaps. It's been a lot of blanks again. A lot of people getting the, the tape tonight. So that's day two over with. Let's hope for a better day tomorrow.